we have got a factory five 1965 Shelby Cobra replica, 932 miles. I'm telling you, this is immaculate. This is one of the cleanest Cobras I've had in here. You could eat off the underside. Really an immaculate car. I'm looking inside. It's like pristine. It's not even dusty. Beautiful car. 302 performance motor. And again, Factory 5. That's one of the most well-known uh, brands of Cobra reproductions there are. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information and look at pictures top to bottom. And that's also where you will find a price tag on the car along with a monthly finance option. Our banks will finance uh, most of our cars for 12, 13 years with only 10% down. That's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next video is posted. Now, join me. Let's go for a spin. First of all, the Cobra is one of the most exhilarating cars you can drive. It's open cockpit. You feel the wind. You hear the roar of the pipes. You're sitting down here, and then pipes are right there. Handles like a go-kart. Slingshot fast. I mean, these are just exciting, fun cars to drive. Uh, and underneath, it's all factory five. Big tubular center frame structure with all square tube supports coming off of it and it's all gloss black. It looks like it hasn't even been driven. Uh, they use actual aluminum uh, inserts for the floor pans. Uh, up front is an independent suspension, coil over shocks. Uh, the upper control arms are tubular. Uh, rack and pinion steering and all of it is new. In back, uh, it's a Ford Mustang setup with an 8.8 8 .8 rear end with the chrome cover on it. Uh, I don't know what they call it, but you have the regular shocks and then you got another shock going like sideways. I'm sure that's for like twist, some sort of dampener system. Uh, and again, it all looks like brand new. Uh, disc brakes in front, drum and back, all the lines, hoses, the brakes themselves, all of that was new when they built the car. The fuel system's new. It looks like a, an aluminum or a stainless tank. So underneath this car, literally looks new because it practically is new. You look up at the motor, it's spotless. Uh, the starter, every, every component on the motor, the freeze plugs, they all look brand new. Uh, it has a five-speed manual transmission in there, you know, custom-made drive shaft. They're funny looking, the car's so short, it's like the shortest drive shaft you'll ever see in your life. Uh, so now the body, first of all, it looks amazing in red. Just a nice bright red sports car with the windshield and all the right goodies, the right wheels. Uh, yeah, this has got the right stuff. So let's look at the body. It's a composite body, and this all is excellent. I don't see any damage. I don't see a crack. It all fits real nice. No issues at all. This is all real nice. There is some chip guard paint right here, and there's a crack right in the seam. They might have sprayed it a little too thick. There's just a, a hairline crack that's probably in the paint, not the fiberglass. This is all looking really good. That's a replica of the 427 Cobra because it has the fat, bulgy fenders. Yeah, the body is looking really, really nice on the car. Body looks great. Like I said, painted a nice gloss red. Beautiful finish. I don't see any chips or nicks. There might be, if you look for it, a mild imperfection in the paint uh, here or there, but it's slick. It's not cracking. It's not uh, chipped up or anything. So beautiful bright red paint. So crystal clear windshield. The rubber uh, seals real nice, and it has the tinted visors, has the optional wing windows, has the bullet mirrors. It uh, has the chrome handles to open the hood. Up front, all this looks new still. The big bumper, that's an option. You don't see it on, on all of them. You got side pipe exhaust, stainless going into the pipe, and then it looks like a chrome tip coming out. It has the knockoff style wheels. They have a knockoff center cap, but there's actually lug nuts that hold it on, which is much safer, I would think. Uh, so nice Halibrand style wheels with DF Goodrich tires. Has the pop-up racing style gas cap. And apparently that's for looks. The gas cap must be in there because I can see the floor. So that's for looks. 
It has the matching bumper and back, just like what you see up front. The tail lights, Cobra emblems, all the handles, the hinges. Real nice roll bar. I've seen some ugly roll bars. This here looks great. It's chrome, looks real sharp. So why don't we open it up, give you a tour of what's inside. All right, let's check out the trunk compartment. Really, it's finished off very nicely. It's carpeted under the trunk lid. Has a nice latch mechanism, the uh, weather strip, all carpeted. You have a carpeted panel here you can lift up. It has to access the, the rear end. Uh, and all the way up in there, it's all finished off nicely. Again, one of the nicest I've seen. Usually they're just empty or just raw black fiberglass. Uh, that's very clean and tidy. Has the Shelby style chrome uh, latches. You have to reach in to open the doors. Upholstered door panels. Nice set of uh, white face gauges, VDO gauges. It is a Moto Lita. Uh, Steering wheel with the leather wrap on it. Miles are 923. Has a Pioneer stereo with a couple speakers under there, although the exhaust would be my stereo. You have a master kill switch. You turn this off, take it with you, and no one's going to be able to mess with the car. Now you have a functional uh, glove compartment there. So there's an emergency brake that does work. Got the bucket seats with seat belts. They're comfortable. They're cushioned nice. Everything's carpeted real nicely. You got the five speed shifter. It's just like the original style. It leans forward like that. Uh, carpeted behind the seats. You have very tidy. Again, underneath, inside, outside. Oh, very, very clean and tidy on this car. One of the better ones I've seen. And those are the right wheels they have on these Cobras. Some people get fancy and put other types of rims and wheels. It just don't look right to me. So the motor is uh, a 302. We were told it was a great 302 engine. It's plenty strong for this uh, car. Aluminum intake with a chrome-plated Holly carb. Uh, some sort of special, it's called Power Fire. I don't know who makes that distributor ignition system. Thinned valve covers. The wires are run neatly. This is going to be upside down. There's a picture on our website, but Factory 5 Racing right there has their VIN number on it. It's a real Factory 5 car. And you can see all the support and framework, how nice all that is. Uh, it has an external uh, oil filter, easier to change. Aluminum radiator with a giant electric fan up front. Probably should come around to the other side and see what else we're missing. Okay, it does have an electric choke. Uh, we got an Optima battery here, um, chrome alternator, a fin, uh, I'm sorry, aluminum overflow bottle. Of course, it's topped off with a Cobra air cleaner. I told you, I might not come back. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this car. The condition, I'm kind of finicky, uh, definitely meets my standards. And again, the overall look. So many times I look at a Cobra, it's like, oh, I like that, but why did they do that? Or why did why that roll bar? Why that color? Why those wheels? This is just a cool-looking red sports car Cobra. And again, if you've not owned one of these or driven one of these, they are a blast. You can have a lot of fun with a car like this. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesmen. They'll help answer your questions. Uh, with financing, getting it delivered to your door, all that good stuff is at volocars.com. 
we're posting two, three videos a day. So make sure you subscribe, click on the bell icon so you're notified when they're posted. Thanks for watching. This is Richard's car.